Hi everybody. What a nice gray morning to spend out here in San Diego Botanic Garden's beautiful natural area. I'm surrounded by coastal sage scrub and southern maritime chaparral. And believe it or not, this gray seasonality is a celebration for all of these plants because summer is coming and it's hard. And we're already seeing a lot of deciduous activities and dormancy starting on plants in response to the upcoming reliable summer drought that we're gonna experience. So I wanted to come out here in part because that seasonal shift also means it's time to be collecting seeds. And you've heard us talk about this plant that I'm next to. This is lemonade berry. Rus integrifolia is the botanical name for this. And it's one of the most reliable and trustworthy and um, utility rich native plant species in our area. Believe it or not, you can use this for a hedge. They can be put into a regular irrigated garden setting and they'll do fine. They can also perform quite nicely in a landscape like this one with zero supplemental irrigation. So we grow a lot of this, not only for our own gardens and sales and restoration projects, but believe it or not, I'm here today for a totally different purpose in collecting these fruits and seeds which is to share them with some of our partners in a botanical garden in Melbourne in Australia. So we're actually doing a, an amazing seed exchange program with this garden so that some of their endangered plant material can come to our garden and we can grow it in a way that preserves it in case anything happens overseas. And likewise, they're working on developing a garden collection that is very forward looking in anticipation of warmer, drier climate shifts as things change. And what they've come to understand is that plants from San Diego County are likely to perform even better as time goes on in their area. And one of the plants that they've requested from us is Rus integrifolia, lemonade berry. So we're gonna collect some of these seeds, clean them. And part of what we have to clean off is this kind of residue that their namesake comes from because it tastes almost like strawberry lemonade. Once we're done with that, the little seed that's in the center of this will go into our lab, get cleaned up, packaged, and shipped all the way across the world to Australia so that people, even on that other continent, can enjoy the splendor of lemonade berry.